Alrighty, guys, time for our finale of Francisco de Almeida, A Son's Blood. Yeah, Rip Lorenzo. We had taken the other side of the world by storm. Oh, yeah, there is an achievement in this one. As the Zamorí beat his war drums, Ottomans and Egyptians rallied to him. Their ships were carried over the desert and rebuilt by treacherous Venetians. In India, an unlikely Russian renegade called Malik Ayaz raised the Muslim armies of Gujarat in defense of the Hindu Zamorí. Isn't it Gujarat? Can oh, you pronounce the J? As this coalition of Hindus, Muslims, and Christians descended on us, liars and jackals. It's those goddamn jackals again, man. King Manuel. They filled his ears with lies that Don Francisco had betrayed Portugal and convinced the young king to dispatch an armada led by Alfonso de Albuquerque to relieve my captain of the viceroy ship. Remember him from uh, Francisco II? Don Francisco, however, was in no mood for politics. Tragedy struck off the coast of Char. In a heroic naval battle, my captain's beloved son Lorenzo was slain by Amir Hussein, admiral of the Mamluk fleet of Egypt. Though he deeply loved his son, Dom Francisco did not shed tears for his death. In repayment, my captain vowed to shed blood. Oh, man. All right, convert 10 of Albuquerque's men. Oh, God. Th this beginning is... It's something, all right. Uh, pop limit of 200. Uh, while converting the Portuguese, do not neglect to train new units. You will need to be ready for battle uh, for Dio as soon as the Portuguese are converted. Destroying the Mamluk Victorias should be a priority. They are the primary source of resources for the Mamluks. The arid... Katiwar Peninsula to the west has rich gold deposits. Lots of reading. Francisco is camped in northwest India. Death of his son Lorenzo must be personally avenged, so he cannot surrender the viceroy ship until those responsible for his son's death are destroyed. Alfonso de Albuquerque has landed with a letter from King Manuel appointing him as viceroy. He's an overbearing taskmaster. So, yeah, we convert him. But don't kill them. Uh, Diu, an island off the southern coast of the Western Peninsula, will be the focus of the coming battle, governed by Malik Ayaz, a Russian converted to Islam. Diu has elephants, camels, and paladins inspired to battle by uh, imams. Malik Ayaz is aided by Venetian engineers who have constructed bombard towers in the city. Uh, they are Persians. Uh, Diu is also supported by the army of the Ottomans. These Janissaries, cannons, and cavalry have uh, camped at Surat across the Konkan River from the Portuguese position. Amir Hussein al Kurdi commands the Egyptian Mamluks. His fleet is based off of the Gulf of Kambats, northern shore. The Mamluk army has Mamluks. Yeah. Duh. <laughs> Cavalry archers and siege supported by a detachment of Venetian condottieri. The Venetians provide resources for the Mamluks, but through their trade embassies, destroying these Victorias will cripple the Mamluks. Finally, the Gujarati traders have market posts in the gold-rich western peninsula. Picking sides is unprofitable for these savvy merchants who are eager to trade with the Portuguese. By order of His Majesty, you are to be relieved as Viceroy of India. Oh, that's a relief. Okay, so that tiger aside, this is what we gotta do. And is the point, uh, or it's, I guess, the objective of the achievement. Uh, I forget the name of it. But we have to not kill any of Albuquerque's men. 
I mean, for the purposes of the scenario, you lose if you convert more than, or if you kill more than six, but you will also, I'm also gonna try and not kill any. I mean, I'm not gonna like restart the scenario if I accidentally kill one, but I'll at least show you guys what I do and what I did to complete this achievement ever so long ago. Anyway, you're also going to want to start gathering some stone right away. Also, definitely make sure you grab Sanctity. Oh, we're also going to want to grab Atonement as soon as we can afford it. But yeah, the stone's important because that way you can build additional town centers and boom! Wait. Okay, just have your little healing circle. Circle of healing. So yeah, just whenever you convert somebody, just put them on no attack stance. But the enemy does have some missionaries and monks and whatever, so we might have to grab atonement. Oh, why do we have these goats? That's weird. Anyway, we are going to need to eventually convert Albuquerque himself. And you got you got friends? Nope. So we're at eight out of ten. And Albuquerque's over this away. Uh, we are allies with everybody. Well, you know, for the time being. <laughs> These guys aren't going to be too friendly in the near future. Hi, Heater! Ah, here, here's 9 and 10. No, this... No! No! Fail! No, 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 no. You go back to camp. Anyone got faith? There we go. Just send them all back. Can I click on the... Okay. Whatever. Albuquerque's right here. It's also in New Mexico. You can convert him from outside. It'll be a little weird, but eventually he's going to try and run out and kill you. Might need a little bit of encouragement. He might be bugging out. Anyway, we should be good. Yep. Yep, that's right. The wonder is not just started, but finished. 
So we gotta go, go, go. Also, we're under attack, like, instantly. So these guys, we can land them. And use them to help defend our base from the Ottomans, who are our most dangerous enemy, Imo. Okay, we got two cannon galleons. These cannon galleons are our lifeblood. Because, um... Yeah, we're not going to be able to destroy the wonder without them. Oh, hey, here's some more troops. Oh yeah, they also have a Savar... Are they Persians? Those should say... <gasps> no, 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 no! Why are you attacking the cannon galleons? No! Villager... Caravels suck. Okay. We have this bombard cannon. Maybe we can transport people. That was annoying. I don't remember them ever attacking you. Why? Why are you stuck? No, no, not the bombard. I cannot lose the bombard can into the. I have one Capdram. My confidence is at an all-time low. Yeah, let's just not waste any more time. Oh my god. That was such a fail. By order of His Majesty, you are to be relieved as Viceroy of India and return to Portugal for inquiry into your activities in the Indies. Yeah, like losing all my frickin' ships. Yeah, these frickin' goats, man. ...to promise them God and gold if they follow me. Not even the king will deny my vengeance. Estou pronto. Mirará. Por ti. No. No. Wow. This has pretty much been a catastrophe. In case you guys weren't aware, I am not infallible. I, in fact, make many mistakes. Both in life and in AoE. And in much like both life and AoE, or both life and AoE are alike in that I make too many of them. Oh, 
Okay. Getting back on our feet, so to say. Come back here, Halberdier. I just can't believe those the freaking fire ships just dove bomb dive bombed. Yeah, that makes more sense. The cannon galleons. Like you literally need to protect those exact two cannon galleons, otherwise you're pretty much screwed. I mean you can try and land with a bombard cannon, but like one bombard cannon is not going to uh take down a wonder. I want to make sure he's out of range of the other uh, units in the vicinity. Okay, back on to an even keel. Yeah. It's okay. You're just going to have to try again. Okay, we're going to have to wait for some faith regen. At least this is giving plenty of time for our villagers to collect resources. Okay, this should be good. Try to skirt the tower as best we can. Little circle of healing. I guess he's going to be baited out. There you go. Send Albuquerque away. Malik Ayah, who plans to execute our brothers in deal. We have little time to defeat him. You guys stand the hell back. Why? Like, our units are all spread out freaking everywhere. Adds to the problem. We also have our army over here. You guys get back to work.
definitely make a couple couple of demos because DU only trains fire ships, as far as I'm aware. But yeah, even though we have a big old army, we have pretty much no eco behind it. Again, not sure what Savars are doing here. And they should be back in Central Asia, in Persia. Okay. Just really have to do a good job seeing the fire ships coming. Okay, they're coming from all sides. That's not great. No, why are you going? Kill these. How are you not dead? Kill the freaking ships, man. How hard is it to kill a fire ship? Can these range the wonder? Okay, so it looks like you don't even need the cannon galleons technically. Sure as hell don't want these frickin' caravels useless. Like, we really don't have much time. I honestly don't even want us to transport units over. That just feels like a death mission. Oh, we do have galleons, by the way, despite being in Castle Age, as I'm sure you've noticed. Why that is the case, I do not know. Demo ship arriving just as all of the fire ships are dead. Classic. Anyway, we gotta really start hammering at that wonder. Can't believe I freaking lost my cannon galleons again. But seriously? Really got to work at that thing. I need something over there. Okay, it looks like they deal five damage per hit. I hope this is enough time. And we need a bunch of TCs at home. Now that we actually have the good warship, Galleons. Yes, yes, I know Dee's wonders. It's only stand for another hundred years. At least you can do this. I didn't know you could do this. I thought you had to use the cannon galleons or do a landing. But the landing has never worked for me. Okay, 
And you can see the Cannon Galleon route is, uh, shall we say, in inconsistent? But it looks like we're going to be fine. There is a bridge here in the north. So let's wall this puppy. Oh no. I just used all of the faith on one elephant. Great. Great. Now I'm using land chips against warships. Trying to make sure they're not in range of the Bombard Tower as best I can. But we'll be fine. So I'm gonna have to wall sorta of like this because I remember that there's we will make our stand against the okay. over the ruins of India. Oh remember when I had an army? So yeah, we, we get everything that's on the island, but this isn't really worth a whole hell of a lot. Anyway, let's get some fishing eco going. And hopefully our ships will be sufficient. Also, Saracens don't have fast fire ships. At least those should keep... All of that stuff should keep Diu occupied for a little while. The Ottomans are definitely our scariest opponent, though. Fishing eco is going to be really nice to have, though. And we're going to focus primarily on water control. Ooh. Let's see if we can snipe this Treb at least. Just keep booming. Whatever you do, don't stop booming. It's the uh, the mantra of Ornlu. These galleons aren't fully upgraded. We're missing all the Imperial Age upgrades except chemistry and galleon. See if we can clear them out from this crossing. Oh, whoops. Are you kidding me? Apparent. Yep, that's a hole. That sure as hell is a hole. Why? 
Okay, clicking up to imp in just a second. Man, D is getting wrecked. Oh, rip those fishing ships I had there. That is a lot of Janissaries. See if I can bait them into the TC fire a bit more. Surprise, motherfucker! Hey, come and get me! Come and get me! Come and get me! Come and get me! Jub baited! At least we're not on a timer to beat the rest of the scenario. Which my blood pressure appreciates, if nothing else. Get a few more fishing ships. Why is there a nine, one of the nine bands of yak hair here? It seems like an incredibly inappropriate place for it. Uh, how do I make this wall work? Whoa, that was weird. I'm pretty sure that works. And then we just do that. Perfect. Anyway, we can now get that one. Oh, I don't have any more galleons over here. Some organ guns. Remember, just whatever you do, don't stop booming. Oh yeah, I can get Karak. That should help us, especially versus the fire ships. Oh, now they're called Sapahis. They were definitely called Savars before. Anyway, let's get some defense upgrades, because we sure as hell need them. Do they have artillery? No, they do not, thankfully. In, in a single stroke of good luck. Oh, I already got kind of galleon. All these freaking shorefish are blocking all the dock spots. Anyway, you can't win purely on water, but we're going to focus on it just because water control just makes your life so much easier even if you're not going full water. I am running low on houses though. Didn't realize how uh, how much I relied on DU for population space. Let's go finish this guy. 
And once these walls are up, as well as the castle, I'll be I'll feel safe to move out with my galleons. And theoretically, cannon galleons. Okay, I'm not really sure what killing these guys does, killing the enemy leaders. They're all there. Um, they're all at their respective bases. They even have their own player. Okay, finally things are starting to look okay. Can put this at the mouth of the river here. Oh, that one's something I should have gotten a while ago. Now we're talking. When in doubt, guys, just don't stop booming. Didn't I have some Pangalians on the way? Did I not? Oh, I did, but they didn't have a rally point. These I should have gotten a while ago. Hey, again, guys, I cannot stress this enough. Saracens don't get fast fire ship. In fact, Turks don't either. Seriously. 98%. They, I just dap castled. Anyway, those Mamluks are going to get wrecked. Need to make sure I'm keeping up with my galley count. I'm pretty sure they do uh, rebuild, and none of them have infinite resources. They're all, you know, playing Age of Empires, as I say. Okay, finish that last segment of wall. And what we're going to need to do soon, very soon, is transport across to somewhere over here because we need to get to some more gold. Also, let's start preparing some organ guns. Some bombard cannons. Really, I'm way too food dominant with my eco. Where is my transport ship? I definitely ordered one at some point. Ah, here it is. Anyway, there's the Turkish Pasha. Can't re uh, can't reach him though. Maybe this Kangal can hit the Siege Workshop, though. Can you? Yes. Oh! The brutality. What the hell? Okay, just... Go over here. Mm -hmm. 
Now I'm 83.7% sure that there's going to be a bunch of gold over here. We just need to outpost far enough. Like, the gold is inland. Just need to keep on outposting. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. These have 8 plus 6 range! They're Turkish bombard towers! Wait a minute. No. They're cheating bombard towers. I'm like thinking, okay, so normally it's 8 plus 3 is the range of m most defensive buildings, and then uh, with Bracer and all that. And then artillery gives you another plus 2 range, so that's plus 5. Wait a minute, plus 6 range is just straight up cheating. <laughs> Quick villagers outrun these Persian units. Wait, what? Uh, apparently you get some he uh, random heavy camels in the middle of nowhere that have no upgrades. They're therefore uh, pretty useless. Okay, I, I am very sure that the gold has to be somewhere around here. Nothing else we can trade with these guys. Bingo. I'm gonna transport back home. You guys will probably want to come on the, the trip. Oh, I never got siege engineers. Well, at least these guys don't outrange elite cannon galleons. Also, Saracens don't get heated shot. Okay, let's just bring all of these guys over. Land right there again. How's this push going? It's going just fine. Ah, there's the Turkish castle. Still no artillery for them, thankfully. In fact, they have no Imperial Age upgrades. Okay. We're going to need to go a slightly different route to avoid those units. Are you serious? Well, here are some Guj Gujarati traders, so that has to be pretty friendly. Um, more unupgraded heavy camels. I'm so glad I have them. How's the push going? Running into Bombard Towers. Pro move, Ornlu. Oh, there's the Turkish Pasha. Well, Mr. Turkish Pasha, let me introduce you to the beautiful music of the organ gun. Boom. And I will redirect them to the Turkish Pasha Killing Bureau. Shit. Did you bait him? Hey, more gold. Ah. 
Let's kill these uh, not Savars. I'm running low on cannon galleons. Oh, I didn't kill all the docks of the, the Mamluks. Yeah, here it is. Oh, seriously? Organ guns. <laughs> Not very efficient. We have the Masjid of Surat. Whatever that means. I mean, presumably it's some sort of mosque, but I, d I don't think that means anything in game. Because they couldn't have it be a wonder, because then the Turks would also be getting a wonder victory. So they had to make it a monument. Sappers time. It's been so long! Sappers! Look at those guys go! Sappers is the uh, the patented tech of uh, the Ornlu campaign adventures, which is also apparently the name of these uh, campaigns. That I am coming up with a name that we are just about to finish the third to last campaign. When did I research light cab? I don't remember doing that. I'm just going to queue up a whole bunch of them. For raiding purposes. Okay. So the Mamluks are pretty much dead. Which just leaves our good friend, Dew. Turks are dead. Nodward and upward. Oh, there's more paladins. All right, let's go a bit further south until we hit Dew. No condos! Oh, they have a TC right here. Hotkeying some stuff. Anyway, um, the Mamluks should have a castle where Amir Hussein al Kurdi is. Uh, and they are going to treb me. I mean, I'm pretty, there used to be, I think, like a, a lighthouse here. It was essentially the Saracen Wonder, but they called it the Lighthouse of Dew. At least I remember that being a thing. Well, there go the Ottomans.
Vai salvar. Ao centro, sim. Entendido. Ao centro, sim. Vai salvar. Oh, I lost my trap. Great. Sim. As armas. How are my chips doing? Not a whole lot that's useful. Wow, we're deleting this thing? Oh no, that's just the cannon galleons. These are not cheating bombard towers that have 8 plus 2 range. Yeah, heavy cav archers with only castle age upgrades, probably not going to beat this. I am going to want some more buildings, though, i.e. swork shops. No, not the cannon galleons! Every time! Doesn't matter the context! So yeah, especially once the Turks are defeated, you're pretty much in the clear. The Mamluks are probably the easiest opponent. Fight me, bro. Amr Hussein Al Kurdi. Oh, you got the fancy moves, but not fancy enough. He's not a heathen, he is a good Muslim. From my point of view, you're the heathen. Don't you just love religious wars? Jesus was the last prophet. No, Muhammad was the last prophet. Why do you hear attacking sounds? Was there just like an animal or something? I don't know. The castle here. I guess let's go to the other side. It's definitely a long one. And this video is going to be long because I freaking failed the first attempt. No! No! Man, the Portuguese army is slow. <laughs> Well, what are we? What's everybody doing? We're doing Aztecs next, so that's definitely a fast sieve. Sort of. We don't have cavalry, but we have a lot of eagle warriors to make. Die! Take down that bombard tower. You guys come help build this castle that will eventually come up, I hope. Man, it is late. It is two in the morning as of me recording this. But it's also Saturday, so I don't care. But I should probably go to bed after this. 
I, uh, I started, it was like midnight or something, and I started recording, uh, four, the last one. And I'm like, eh, I'll just finish up Francisco. Not like I'm in any rush, I'm like a month ahead at this point. Mostly just because I want to get, I want to get these done, and I enjoy doing them. So it's like a, a double incentive. And I know I'm not going to have the time later. I am losing so many units right here. I should probably uh, have less anecdotes and more patrolling. Well, that was a fail. Yeah, we still have 16 or so. Oh boy. Uh... Also, with this scenario, we enter the 16th century. You spend a good long while in the 14th century. Or the 15th century, rather. First 15th century campaign was Le Loi. Uh, so that was the 1400s. And this one ends the 1400s and gets us into the 1500s, where we have our last two campaigns. Anyway, here's Malik Ayaz, who is definitely not Dracula. Die, war elephant! No! No, no, I gotta kill him! No! No, 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 no! No, why are you running away? Fight me, bro! No, don't run away! Fight me! No! Stop running! God damn it! I couldn't even get this right! Freaking hell, man! At least we got the achievement. Twice. But, of course, we pretty much saw the entire map as well. <laughs> Freaking running away from me. Alright, final outro for Francisco. With his son's death avenged, Dom Francisco surrendered the viceroy ship of India and wrote his final chapter. He would not return to his beloved Portugal. Landing in southern Africa to collect water, his party was ambushed by the Khoikhoi natives. He found his body on that forsaken white beach. In the five years since we departed Lisbon, we followed Don Francisco to the edge of the earth. We fought ebony-skinned warriors in the jungles and savannas of Africa, battled Mamluk sailors on the decks of galleys heaving in the monsoon waves, and struggled against armies of elephants and camels in the sprawling cities of India. Our caravels had taken us to the distant shores unknown to our ancestors, and awoken Europe to a world beyond our dreams. Indeed. 210 buildings raised, that's a lot. So yeah, they, they did, I'm pretty sure, they didn't have infinite resources or anything. Wait, these guys didn't collect wood, but Are they just buying wood? Anyway, guys, that will be Francisco de Almeida, our last Africa campaign. African kingdoms, all that. 
And next, we'll be turning to our final AOC campaign, our second America campaign, whatever you want to call it. It's Montezuma. See you guys next time for that.